Welcome back to Part Time Oki Picker. I am John, followed by. Well, nope, that's not Rebecca. So she's currently at work. So we're going to do a quick pickup from what we've been picking up from Goodwill. Um, we don't go to Goodwill very often. We used to go a lot. Our local Goodwill, Goodwills changed their pricing scheme, I guess, much like anywhere around the country. And the prices went up significantly. We have been a couple times over the past couple weeks uh, just to kind of mostly kill time for something else. And we found a couple things. And we've also noticed that their pricing is not as aggressive as it has been in the past. I don't know if that's a new thing. I don't know if they realized they were losing out on sales. I'm not sure exactly what their philosophy is most of the time. But I'm going to go over... I think we've got probably 15, maybe 20 items that we picked up. Some of it's already sold. I may throw up screenshots in a minute. I may not. I'm not really sure. We did find uh, a number of things. We're really trying to, if we find something at Goodwill, it's either got to be super quick and easy to list, pack, and ship. One, two, three. And it has to, or, and or, it has to sell for $50 or more. Um... That's just kind of our philosophy on Goodwill items. Um, if I'm buying something at a quarter at a garage sale, it's a completely different story. But when you go to Goodwill and you're paying, you know, their uh, prices, $7.99, $8.99, whatever it is, um, we want that item to be a little bit better. We're going to start with the two quick pieces of clothing. We've got a 19, let me see how to hold this, 1993 Twilight Zone. It is, as everybody likes to say, single stitch on both top and bottom. 1993 size medium runs probably a little bit tighter uh, than the average medium just because of its age but um, I think I have it listed currently for 60 maybe I'd have to go back and check but I think it's around that um, there are some as high as listed as 100 120 but I think 60 maybe 50 to 60 is where we're going to end up on it um, don't find this brand very often wish i found it a lot i remember growing up with it one of my best friends had tons and tons of it i wish he still had it but we found and i've never found a sweatshirt by this brand i have found a button up that looks like a mechanic shirt it's very cool i have found shorts jeans but never found a sweatshirt and that brand is jinko it has the absolute smallest Maybe I'll zoom in. Smallest hit of, I believe his name is Flamehead, if I remember right. Doesn't have anything on the back. It's got some striping on the shoulders. Um, it is truly vintage. Um, what you can tell is it's made in Russia, which is interesting. Um, it does have, it does say large. It is a large. It almost seems like a crop top. Um, Rebecca did try it on. She wears a medium in sweatshirt. Um, it fit her fairly well, but it still was a little short, so it is interesting. But yeah, and then it, the only really defect is at one point in time, the individual that was skateboarding with it did hit the pavement, put in a little good little hole into the sleeve. But I think I currently have it listed at 100. I think that's probably a little bit high for it but there is one listed much higher like 200 or something so i always try to uh especially on other things um i don't want to shoot for the moon i just want to sell it quickly um i do want to point this out i went in one day to kill some time for a doctor's appointment or something and i picked up 15 blu-ray slash dvds they're all sealed all brand new i have seven left i think I guess i did eight i've sold eight so far I may not have found them all on the shelf, but they're a dollar a piece. Brand new. We're selling them anywhere from $12 to $20 free shipping. They're quick. And uh, medium mail is cheap. So um, we've sold a number of them off. The, one, the biggest one was Anna Green Gables DVD set. Steel sealed, brand new. All three parts. Paid $3 for it. Sold it for $42, I believe, was the number on that. Then we get into some of the oddities that we don't typically pick up. Uh, this radio controlled Mustang airplane. 
It is brand new on the inside. Uh, we paid $15.99. It is interesting when we did check out. Um, it was customer appreciation day or something. So everything that we bought that day, which is this is included, and a couple other things was 25% off. Didn't realize that, didn't see a single sign, but that's cool. There is one, there's only one, only one listed, no sold. It's listed for 300. I don't think it's gonna be 300. That one's sealed. This one would definitely be sold as new open box, I guess. Um, I'll probably just list it as pre-owned and say everything's still sealed inside. But I would say probably 100, maybe 150, if the right person looks at it. It is gonna be kind of oblong to ship, but I do work where I can get boxes, most any time, any size, just like that. Then, this is interesting, um, or at least I think so. This is a, ooh, I don't know. This is a dress form mannequin. Um, you, you spin it, it makes it bigger or smaller for when making dresses. Um, this one, unfortunately, or fortunately, because it make it easier to ship, does supposed to come with a pedestal, so it makes it taller. It is missing it, which kind of is okay with me, because it would make it much more difficult to ship. We did pay, I think, the $7.99 on it. We did find one that had sold recently. It was $100. So, um, right size box, padding, and we'll ship it on its way. Oop, running out of room over there. <clears throat> then, um, the camel. There is a giant stuffed animal camel over here. It's Melissa and Doug. Um, typically, we don't buy their plush because oh, they're hard to ship. Especially, like, there's a big tiger, there's a big lion, and there's a big elephant. They're all more round, so they're harder to ship. Mr. Camel here is pretty thin for what he is. Uh, we did pay $6.99. I do believe he was part of that 25% off sale. I think I saw solds anywhere from listed, and he's in really good shape. His legs aren't broken. They have uh, firm, you know, pieces in them to make them stand, to make them lean. Um... I did see it listed anywhere from 50 plus like 80 shipping all the way up to 200 free shipping. I'm going to do the exact math. I've already got a box for it. We're going to list it probably right in the middle of about 90 free shipping. Build that shipping in and get him on his way. Um, that's the camel. Then that same day of the sale, we did pick up a putter. Unfortunately, it's not a Scotty Cameron. We have picked up a Scotty Cameron at this Goodwill before. It was $3, much like this one. It was in terrible shape. Still sold for $150. This one is an Odyssey Dual Force 550. Um, I have boxes for these. It's not an issue to ship them. Um, it, I think, listed would be 40. I think 40 is the number on that. And I felt pretty good with that at $3 plus the hidden discount. Then another day, not the sale day, but same store. I think this we bought this the same day we bought the dress form. This is a duster. Um, it's huge. It extends. It's very tall. I can't. I don't know if I can get the whole thing in camera. Uh, it, it it extends. It goes up to like 12 feet or something. I think it sells for 60 to 80. Uh, shipping, right size box. You're gonna have to go FedEx or UPS, which is totally fine. Right size box makes it easy, and then you send it on its way. It did cost us the full five dollars. Then a couple days ago, we went in and Rebecca picked out two books, volume one and volume two of the C.S. Lewis collection, Letters of. Um, there, I guess, are three volumes, but they only had two there. They're a dollar ninety-nine each. She said for the pair. I believe it was 35 shipped. So $4 into 35, I won't complain about that. Then, I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do with this. I think we're gonna try to sell it locally first before I take it apart and try to make it smaller. But it is a infant ride-on, toddler ride-on. Um, my kids are much bigger than this, so I'm not exactly sure. It was $6.99. The brand is uh, La Bebe? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. Um, 
this one I think from what I remembered is retired it new it sells or it's priced at crazy prices like two three four hundred dollars for some reason um, this one we're probably gonna try to sell locally for 50 the it's got like a music box that kind of vibrates on it for comfort um, it does work uh, we'll probably try to sell it locally for 50 if that doesn't work I'll end up taking the uh, rocking parts of the wood off, make it smaller, get a big box, and send it on its way for probably about a hundred shit. And then put that back here, hope it doesn't fall. We ended up picking up a couple more books. I think this is interesting. Um, we have sold music books in the past. Um, piano, guitar, they're pretty common. They don't sell as well because they print a lot of them. But when you find the um, interesting instruments, um, mandolin is the one that's here. But we've also sold a harmonica one before. Um, this one does include a CD. CD's in good shape. It was two bucks. I think it sells for 20. We have book boxes. We may just put it in our easy um, poly bag or bubble mailer, send it on its way. But there you go. Then. I bought some interesting records, some weird records. The the way you could tell the donations are there are a lot of books about history and war up on the shelf, and then some of the records I believe they're Japanese. They are straight up all in Japanese. Pictures, covers, disc. Um, I did find all of them listed. I had to go to Discogs on a couple of them, but I did get to the point where I found all of them except for two. Um, they all sell for about fifteen to twenty dollars. They're two dollars each. Um, just a bunch of interesting ones that I thought I wouldn't have a lot of competition when I did sell them. This one's a gatefold. Um, when I did list them, I do like records, and then we came across this. Uh, Elvis, it is uh, the reprocessed one, so it's not the original, but it's not today's. I think it was printed in the 70s. It's about a $20, $25 record also. And I think that's it. So we've got, I don't know, four to $600 in retail. Uh, we probably spent no more than $40 or $50 at our local Goodwills. Uh, we didn't make it a big Goodwill day trip. We just kind of went into a couple different ones over a couple different times to kill some time. And, oh, yeah, there's a couple other sales. Um, we, we bought a, a very large, I think it was 2X or maybe even 3X um, Patagonia pullover. It was did have like a logo on it from a ranch, I think, in like Wyoming or something, maybe Colorado. Um, it was $6. I don't know if I ever... I found the Patagonia something at the Goodwill that they didn't catch or boutique for six dollars. So maybe because it had a logo, they thought it. But we sold that. I believe it was for sixty, and that just sold recently. So I'll put up a bunch of the sales so you can see. Most of it, I think, is media. I haven't really got to list all the other uh, unique stuff. But this is just kind of our quick pickup. I don't have any footage. Like I said, we weren't planning on going. We were just doing it to kill some time, so I don't have in-store thrifting video. I'm not exactly sure how our local Goodwills will handle it, um, so I'm kind of nervous about that. I do know they have a no video um, sign on all the doors, but I also have signs that say, you know, don't let your children run around and act crazy, but that's not the case. So I want to appreciate you for tuning in today. We do have a new seller inside the seller studio and then we plan on having actual live footage for this following weeks um, we're not sure if it's going to be auction flea market maybe just some actual thrift stores this time planned um, but we appreciate you tuning in thank you and have a great day